wondering how to glow up your own short hair anyway here is a video for you watch me cut relax and style my hair like it was done in a salon and i hope you enjoy today's video and give it a thumbs up hey lovelies welcome back to my channel today's video i'm prepping myself for uni we are almost resuming in a few days and my hair looks so terrible i think after matched my hair after using some hair dyes okay so what i'm going to do today is just cut off my hair i mean i'm going to cut it really short uh very short as possible because the whole term is going to be about three months continuously i'm going to be very busy uh, monday to friday going up and down you this is the only time i think i'm going to really have among them all and do something really for myself so i'm just going to part my hair the bottom of it is quite growing out if you can see it's like growing really well so that one is darker and the, this ones are more brown so i'm just trying to separate the middle a little bit or just wrap it away i know it's not one of those easy things to go cutting your hair or giving yourself a haircut but i try it myself sometimes often and I always get it so haven't done this in a really long time all right so go in there with the sixers instead of using sixers for this you can also choose to use hair clippers which is also easier to use in uh, cutting your own hair at home okay i'm going to go to this one this one i can see it anyway so i'm going to cut it from there at least when it comes to cutting your hair don't be scared it's always good to give it a try if it doesn't work next time you learn from what went wrong okay <laughs> not bad all right so i'm going to go to the front this side one thing about cutting hairs for me is so satisfying because i've been cutting people other people's hair for about maybe seven years now and i enjoy doing it a lot even my partner's hair i cut it for him he doesn't go to the salon ever oh i made it <laughs> let me brush it out so that i'll see the worst part of it and normally i use my glasses for this when it comes to cutting my own hair i normally use glasses because sometimes i can't see properly from the back and all that and my hair right now is like a bit brownish so it's weird to not have glasses on but then well i can still see what i'm doing anyway but then when it comes to cutting other people's hair i don't use glasses because i can actually see what i'm doing and i don't need it i've been cutting my partner's hair as i said for a long time now so I'm used to cutting so many different kind of hairs, you know, African hair, uh, British hair, all the kind of hairs. It's like I'm just okay in cutting them all. And as I said, it's really good and satisfying for me. <laughs> it makes me feel good anytime I cut hairs, like, you know, just repairing it and taking out the bad ones and clearing, you know, cleaning everything. It's like one of those things that I love doing a lot. Even my partner told me one time that maybe you should go and learn about barbering and be cutting people's hair. <laughs> it's funny because I just do this as a hobby. Ta -da -da. so good haircut <laughs> i call it really good haircut because it's good for me oh god sweet face <laughs> okay so the next step i'm going to do is uh relax the hair with my olive oil professional hair relaxer after that i have these three options after relaxing the hair i have three hair dyes which I'm going to put, yeah, I know there was a hair dye that I used that damaged my hair. <laughs> I know, I knew it was going to because that was a wrong choice, a wrong hair dye that I used anyway. So this ones I want to just color the hair a little bit. So I have these three colors. I have this which is uh, really, really blonde. <laughs> I'm not sure that will really look good. I don't know. I'm not sure that will really look good, the blonde one. And then I have a black one here, really, really dark. And then the next one here I have is a light brown. So I don't know which one to choose really. Now maybe I'm confused. I don't want my face to look weird or different. Two different everybody will looking at me like <laughs> okay. 
I'll go for the dark one since I've always done my hair really dark anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is just relax my hair. I think I have some gloves somewhere. All right, now the problem is I don't know if uh, I'm able to dye my hair directly after washing off the hair relaxer i know that i've never done it like that before where my hair is very wet and i put in a hair dye i always do it when my hair is dry and so i'm going to try that way and see if it will work because these hair dyes they are quite really cheap they are not that expensive type and anyway i've never applied hair dye like that before so i hope it works for me this time and luckily for me, as I've cut this hair very short, all I'm going to do is, and as I'm doing, is just apply the relaxer into the hair right to the root of it. And I always struggle with uh, relaxing my hair right to the bottom. I don't know what's wrong. Anytime I relax my hair, the top ones go very very smooth like soft and well relaxed but the scalp i mean the ones underneath never ever relax properly <laughs> even though i put a lot of relaxes always and right to the scalp and all that it never works so i don't know what kind of hair i have or maybe i don't apply it properly anyway i have to do this quick and I have an issue with relaxing these frontal hairs. They never ever lay down. Next, I'm going to take my tail comb and just start combing through. And no, I'm not massaging the relaxer into my hair. I'm combing with a comb. So I use the comb to just comb through. You said there will be a lot of relaxer on the comb and then I use it back in the hair. And then I go to the other side. I was growing natural hair before I cut it all off for this. I just hate the pain that comes with natural hair when you're growing it. Alright. Time to take all this off. So to take this off, I'm just going to hold this and wrap it in. And then take this one to wrap it in. I'm not even holding the comb. Everything is, you know, the comb is held by the gloves and I'll just put it away and wash my comb and then wash my hair. After I'm relaxing and washing my hair, you can still see the top of it a bit colored from the old uh, hair dye. Anyway, so I have my, I have my hair dye ready, already mixed here. Just going to pour it into the hair and mix it all in. This is a black hair dye, the one I chose. So there we go in it. So the hair is partially dry. It's not fully dry after washing. It's just partially dry. So I hope it works. I've never done it this way before. But I've just relaxed my hair and washed it in the shower and now putting dye in it, <laughs> which I've never done before. Now my head looks like I'm bald and I hope it doesn't create any more problem to my hair hopefully it changes it to the dark color that i want i just want it to be really dark sorry for the noise from the gloves i'm just almost done going to wash this and i'll be back i'm back now and it's still really not that dark <laughs> when i was dying in the top of it when it's dry you see the top of it some part of it is a bit like brown anyway it's wet so it look really dark right now it look as if it's all okay but it's really not so i just want to start this hair very quick just put it into a a very simple kind of slick down or something like that that's all i'm trying to do just get my face to look smooth again you know that simple look that's all that i need like that i have my lotta body lotion a uh, wrap mousse i observed that with my hair i needed to apply a lot and lot of uh, the wrap mousse before it ever lays down i think i have a very thick uh, hair in the like the bottom it's really thick i don't know <laughs> a very weird hair that i have no matter how much wrap mousse i put into the hair it still doesn't feel that that's much smooth 
okay anyway so just uh slicking this down quick and then i'll just wrap it away and let it dry i let this dry naturally because i i will go to sleep it's almost late i'll go to sleep and then let it dry the next day and i will style it which is easier it's been a really long time since i did this i think uh, about two years ago one of my old videos i did something like this before just slick it all down but i think i used chill for that okay it's another day the hair is really dry now i woke up i went to uni <laughs> it's monday actually and i'm back and oh god i'm in the second year now and everything is so intense so much too 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 much work this head is going to explode soon i feel really exhausted already anyway leaving that aside i have my coffee with me putting my hair straightener on or my hair curler the little one that i bought recently i'm a very bad sleeper and i nearly messed the hair up going to bed this uh argan oil into the hair it's also a heat defense I ended up cutting some parts of the video off because the video was just getting too long. You put a little bit into the hair and it shines it a lot. I may need my glasses, I may go for it. This time the hair is absolutely short. I mean really really short. If you can see, it's really short. <laughs> Very short. So here is where the magic begins, where I get my style from. I know I'm still not that perfect with it, but then at the end of the day, I was able to style my hair the way I wanted and it looks so gorgeous. There are so many ways you can style this short hair. Also, when this kind of uh, hair straightener is very small, I mean very, very thin like a pencil, it will even be more gorgeous than, than what I'm achieving right now because it will go into the hair and give you very small, small, tiny curls and you will love it. I mean, I've seen a lot of people done it using that kind of a pin or let's say pencil straightener and the hair looks so so good most people do this in the salons because it takes like so much time to do and quite difficult especially styling or curling your own hair looking at the back and all that it takes quite a lot of processes to go through anyway so this is just the way i styled mine very quickly and it came out really good i think i've done a previous video like this before but then it was longer hair a little bit longer or medium hair that i used for that and it wasn't that perfect or gorgeous as this one looks i like the way this one looks a lot and i think the next time i'm going to do this i may go for maybe that blonde hair kind or a different kind of colored hair to see how that one will look and i hope you do like today's video and how the hair came out let me know in the comment sections what you think about this hairstyle this short hairstyle and i hope it has been helpful to you if you have a short hair and if you're thinking of styling yours too i hope this video will make any sense to you or will be helpful in any way to you also to support my channel please put your notification bells on on anytime that you subscribe in that way any video that i will upload will be sent to your inbox and you'll be able to show your support thank you for getting my short hair ready for uni and i hope you've enjoyed this video and it'll be helpful to you thank you and i'll see you the next video bye Slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer, no man, I still go. Go, go.